Hey guys, Tyrant here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Playing face pointing in the South Bear Focus, playing as Orc and going for the Farseer first, face off in something in the North Bear Thunder. Playing as Human and going for the Blood Mage first. Going for an early Mercenary Camp creep. Interesting build here, back the other way. Warmill coming down, so going to be some Headhunters action. Have a award down here for focus so you can see what's going down. Um, constructed on the Merc Camp. Got the Forest Troll Shadow Priest, so can dispel the wolves and can also use Cypher Mana to transfer some more mana over to the Shadow Priest. So maybe this is a tactic to shut down some wolf or ass. I haven't really seen this one before. I know that th Thunders like, quite often play some unusual strategies. Oh, not summon on summon. <laughs> Good. Work on the dispel there. I remember him being quite fond of like tier three griffins. A player's forces are under attack. See if that's the option here. But yeah, unusual strategies, but maybe micro step off the best compared to some of the t absolute top players still hasn't ticked up yet lumber mill coming through but yeah keeping that forest troll shadow priest well stocked at the moment two and a half at the moment for the blood mage coming back, <laughs> coming back in some dispel action oh boy taking a bit too much damage from the headhunters burst them down on summon on summon there goes the Shadow Priest. Pretty good value from it though. A player's forces are under attack. Okay, standing up the camp at the expansion. Put them in have defend here, so able to repel a few of these attacks from the Forest Troll Trappers. A little bit more siphon, level three on the Blood Mage. Level two siphon. It's a lot more scary. But this has really got to limit the wolves on focus, so it's an interesting tactic overall. Clause plus five waiting up there. A player's forces are under attack. Footman running into the creeps. The denied. I don't think he got the deny right from the amount of experience on the farce here. I would guess that the wolf got the experience. And uh, expansion constructing. Mage picking up the extra item, pick up another Forest Troll Shadow Priest from the Merc Camp. Players' forces are under the Merc attack. Camp. Focus going for that as well here. Have a level three. Hmm. Excuse Bone Chimes, usually a very strong item for Orc, but. In case when you got hit hunters, I wonder if you'll even keep that. Bit of harass coming through. Looks like he took down one hit hunter. Coming in for the cancel on the spirit lodge the now. Fiend of Footman's very hard to get rid of with the piercing damage from the burrows. Charging force with the speed scroll, looking for the kill on the fast draw shadow priest. Bit of blocking coming in from the berserker. Not quite enough though. Now surround maybe. Ooh. Getting away for the moment. There goes the grunt. Oh, I didn't check the experience whether that was a clean deny or not. I thought he's going to come into the peon line. Going for a bestiary now. As well as fortified defenses for the burrows. Oof. Took a big, big burst when he didn't have Defend activated there. So that's pretty much all of the uh, footmen dead now. A didn't town really is get under a huge siege. amount of value from them. Wow, he's, he's continuing to pump them though. A player's Interesting. Forces are under this attack. is about all he can build at the moment. Coming in for some more harass. Going to try to slow down the creeping on the Torrent Chieftain. Wolf kills. A 
Did end up getting the Fire Troll Berserker a little bit low on health there. Looks like he might have to just go for like a green camp, something a bit easier. Quite a few towers coming up there at the expansion. That's going to be tough to push. Extra one coming up at the attack. main as well. So yeah, if he's going to try to go for like mass raider action, doesn't seem like it's going to pan out from the sheer number of towers that are coming online. Okay, managing to sneak off to the side here with the Torn Chieftain. Creep out the expansion position. I wonder if we're going to see a counter expansion from Focus here. A player's force is our <laughs> under Blood Mage being a real nuisance here and draining away all the mana from the fast here. And now trying to steal away the experience up the hill here. As well as the Shredder. He's going to try to load into the Zeppelin and get away here. I imagine a little bit of trouble. Might have to town portal. No, it does indeed get the Zeppelin. Loading up. Oh, leaving a foot. Two footmen behind here. Maybe he's worried about the ensnare. Doesn't want to take that risk, but it's quite a lot of experience for focus. The player's forces are under attack. Okay, he drops over at the... Team an expansion for focus. Peon goes down. Not going to allow that to happen. Going for the blacksmith now. Still at tier two. A little bit low on lumber. But it kind of looks like he does want to push straight into tier three here. Since he doesn't have any other tech structures coming down. The player's forces are under attack. Okay, mud golem. Oh boy. I see you in some trouble here. Just gonna settle for the wolf kills. Three forest troll berserkers. Who needs to build tech structures when you, when you can hire mercenaries, right? Oh my god, didn't last long though. And a bit of an intercept here. Might have to be a town portal. Can you keep all the berserkers alive? Ooh, does. And the forest troll shadow priest. Close call on that one though. Okay, so chopping away with the Shredder now. Actually does put down an Arcane Sanctum and go for the hero. A player's so maybe are he's just under a little attack. bit late on the timings on those. I thought he was going to try to push straight into tier 3. Double Sanctums, okay. Shredder's going to accelerate the lumber really, really quickly. Heroes away from the army at the moment. Okay, Archmage pops out. Blood Mage in the Zeppelin. Where's that going? Oh! The forces are under attack. Sniped off by the Bad Rider. Now the Blood Mage is dizzy. He's trying to make a run for the shop, but good summon. Look at that. Wolves block the path. Ethereal. Ethereal. He's going to slow things down a bit here, but he's going to die. Stomp. Keeping this around closed, though. So once the arc triggers and he comes back to life, still going to have trouble getting out of here. Ethereal. It's going to slow things down a bit. Or maybe one more Ethereal. No. Nope. Dies before he can cast it. Okay, item was on the ground over there. A little experience for the Archmage. And it looks like Focus going to try and make a push here. Archmage in an awkward position. Going to get ensnared on the front of the base here. Town portals. Wow. So he killed off a couple peasants here to try and free up some pot cap space. Now that he's got the shredder, doesn't need so many lumber peasants. A town is under siege. Switching over to the main base. Only ended up putting down two towers over here. I'm going for the kill on the altar. Scroll the beast popped as well. That altar's going to drop so quickly now. The tower's only in range of the wolves. And all the peasants from the gold mine, but it's not enough. I have to go for the buyback now. Focus about to complete his expansion, but Thunder does find some time. 
Let's come across here and cancel it. His own base may be in some trouble though. Just like one more tower would have made such a big difference there. He's bringing across the peasants, to, or peons rather, to start the gold mining, but not going to get the opportunity. Almost all of the peasants are dead now. Could be the time to turn the damage onto the main base. So he doesn't have any raiders though. Either way, a huge amount of economy damage for Thunder here. A lot of experience level 4 on both the Orc heroes. Blizzard. Ooh, pretty good Blizzard. No damage. Not much of an army here for Thunder. <laughs> Let's go try to fight this one though. Going for the fast here focus. I have the damage. We got a spirit walker in the mix now as well. Oh, it's real. Oh, look at all those head hunters going down though. And the blood mage is gonna get away. Oof. Hangs on by the skin of his teeth. Still alive though, and focus. Yeah, Briefly was in low upkeep there. Suffering a little bit. Gonna be a tiny great hall. Yes, indeed. Pop that bad boy down. Peon's coming across from Lumber Duty. So counter expansion's gonna be up and ticking. Did not rebuild any towers yet over here, so main base still quite exposed. Didn't rebuild his altar either. I thought he might have built that at the expansion. So he does lose his heroes again. Going to have to be the buyback once more. Thunder's still a little bit behind in food count. So doesn't really want to take a hit on fight at the moment. Does have the mass AoE. A couple of ivory towers coming down. I bolster his defenses here. And a couple regular towers as well. So with all those towers, looks like Focus decided to disengage here. Maybe go for a bit more experience. Get 5-5. Five, five. Shut down the leveling on the Archmage. Speaking of retraining, home of retraining. <laughs> Shockwave for the Tauren Chieftain now instead of Stomp. Oh, look at this cheeky maneuver. Two Invers for Shroud Berserkers coming down. I guess he wants to cancel an in construction expansion. Gotta find that. Use the tiny Great Hall though, so. A player's force is not really attack. gonna work out. Boy Tower's about to pop here. Chain Wave coming through. Going for the kill on the main. Needs to start the repairs here. And a little bit lax in that department. Let's just switch the uh, Mata Burn over to the Farsi as well. Oh, AM very, very low. Looks That's like he's going to go down here. Heal Potion. Town Portal. Shop's going to fall. A couple Breakers coming out now. And look at this. Out the back. Doing a lot of damage to the economy. Eon's falling. Now the towers are going down though. AM still in trouble. Coming back now. And town portal out from the Orc army. Hmm. So AM did die. As I said, no altar rebuild. So forces are under attack. I'm gonna have to buy that back. Oh, Spirit Walker didn't make it home. This is in the ethereal form, but the magic damage can get through. Slowly but surely. Level 5 on the Blood Mage. And here we're looking for level 6. That, that Phoenix is a real game changer if he can get there, but it's going to be tricky. In such a bad position at the moment, rebuilding the towers. Only two peasants on, no, three peasants on gold over here, so 
slow to get things cranking again and is indeed going for the altar rebuild now at the expansion but yeah once again very very slow that being said focus also slow getting the peons coming back up at the expansion decent flame strike there two peons down straight away players forces are under attack but these orc heroes are coming in pretty well stocked with mana the chain wave rattling through almost all the peasants that did why you're gonna wait for the cooldowns, I think, coming for another chain wave. So the economy damage much worse for Thunder than it is for Focus currently. I am coming back now. But he is hanging in there. Focus has broken upkeep as well, 51, so there's at least something going for Thunder. He's going to lose a farm or two here, but he does have a bunch of towers out the back. Should be able to stay alive at the expansion pretty effectively. Looks like the AM going to come down for some more Peon Harass. Okay, he's going to go for the expansion mine. There's a lot of towers here, though. These raiders are going to fall. One raider down, two raiders down. Heal scroll going up for the grunt next. Does have the spirit link, so it's spreading the damage around the orc units quite nicely and he does manage to clear the expansion that high level chain wave is just so devastating can't get the repairs going in time looks like some be a counter kill on the orc expansion coming through here oh he's got a town portal can he kill it in time probably not oh that's a big flame strike though Mana on the TC. Pretty much none. Okay, Mana Potion activated there. Another good Flame Strike. Raider goes down. One more Raider. Look at all these Orc units. Oh boy, level 6. There we go. Here comes the Phoenix. Big time damage going after the Kodo Beast. Gonna get the Breaker back out of its belly. AM in trouble straight away, having to run away to safety. Slowly going down with the timer. Gonna have to find somewhere safe for the egg eventually. Oh, but the Farsi are in some trouble here. Big time trouble. One more slow coming through from the Sork. Pops Ethereal as well. <laughs> and the magic damage from the Phoenix. Finishing off the job. Gonna come back for the expansion here. They have made it back safe. Phoenix about to run out. Can the egg stay alive for long enough? It's kind of out the back in the corner here. He's going to go for the uh, Blood Mage kill. Blood Mage does have the town portal. And uh, no more mana for another shockwave here. Siphoning off the last of the mana. Going ethereal again. And he has to go for the town portal. TC though. The TC... Oh, it goes down. The Phoenix with the last hit. What a crazy turnaround there. Massive power spike with the Phoenix hitting level 6. And all of a sudden, Thunder back in this game. Hasn't managed to rebuild his expansion. 1.9k left over here. Focus's main mine has run dry. So if Thunder can come down and kill this expansion, he's in a really nice position all of a sudden. Peon's coming in. He hasn't done any repairs on this. Focus with quite a lot of gold. A player's forces are Might pay the price for no repairs. Again, Peon kills left, right, and center. Oh, he's going to go for the buyback on the TC, it looks like. Darcy just about back from the altar, but the expansion is going to fall. A town is under siege. Does he have pillage? Yes, he does. So he is going to get some resources by bashing away at the human base here. And the Farsi is about to come back. We do have a couple Sorks. 
with the human army. Farseer does manage to slip out to the side, though. Gonna go for the kill on the altar. Don't think it's gonna matter, though. TC is gonna come back from the tavern eventually. And that's back on. Attack. Army versus army. Oh, doesn't want to lose that spellbreaker if possible. Or oh, that priest. Couple nice kills. Maybe the shop next could be a safe target. Oh, he heals up. Okay. Orc heroes are back. Lower mana though, especially the Torn Chieftain. Oh, but he catches a breaker coming across. Nice pick off there. Looks like Thunder spoiling for a fight. Phoenix pretty attack. high in health at the moment. So it's a good time for it. Get some nice Phoenix value. A town is Couple under towers siege. back here, so we'll be tricky to push the human base. What oh, was leaving the Phoenix behind? Interesting. I think he kind of needs it though. His army isn't that strong without the Phoenix. Hmm, not sure about this one. For Thunder. I suppose his blood mage does have a reasonable amount of mana. Maybe you just recast it if he really needs it. A town is under siege. Experience here for the AM. The last remnants of the expansion getting finished off. 200 gold left for Thunder. He's lost so many farms as well. If he wants to push up with his army, he a town is under farm, siege. So seems like he's unwilling to do that at the moment. Gonna go for a little bit more experience. Go for the red camp. Could be a nice item over here. Certainly could do with the experience on the AM as well. Tough to creep though. You can see how weak his army is. Really relying on that mass AoE. And here come the Spirit Wolves. Could maybe snipe off a bit of this experience. Level 4 on the AM. Book of Flames. Ooh. A town is under siege. Ooh, the worst item we could have got there. And the Wolves coming in. Getting a couple of kills here. Town portal, no, pops the invault. And all the casters getting picked off there by the chain wave. Mm -hmm. Okay, resummons the Phoenix. Here we go. I am in some trouble out the back, trying to stay alive. Hits the town portal. Picks off a raider. Oh. Oh, and left a breaker behind as well. That was not good. I thought attack. Thunder was going to town portal out straight away there. In a compromised position. Hmm. Oh, level 7 though. The Phoenix out there doing some damage. Just picked off an Orc unit. Level 6 on both the Orc heroes now. So they've also got their ultimates. No. Just Reincarnation. No Earthquake. The farce here, so a player's forces are he does want to attack. bash through his human base in a base race scenario. Not going to have that option at the moment. Because it's trying to do some long range mining here, but the wolves slowing that down. Oh, he's going for the rebuild on the expansion. 2.6k left over here, so going to be tough to get a huge amount of value out of this, honestly. By the time he speed builds it, he wants to keep it safe from wolves as well. Gonna have to build a tower or two. Oh, Phoenix gets caught here with the ensnare. Can get away over the trees. No, nope. only go down. How much experience is that? And it eventually dies. Oh, pretty good chunk. The town is under siege. Down it goes. Rules in on the peasants. Our players' forces are under attack. I'm back here looking for some dispels with the priests. No, control magic on them. No more mana on the TC now. Farseer very, very low, but staying alive. 
the rear on the priests. Could get some healing going on. Yep, there they go. Walk army coming back in. Fresh set of spirit wolves. Mm, not sure about that flame strike. Control magic on the wolves again, though. And the TC's going to go down. Reincarnation. Needs to spread his army here so the shockwave can't hit everything. Gonna try siphon. A little bit late on the siphon. Good pick off there with the shockwave. Another priest down. And he, he's got no more peasants. Oh, he's got one more peasant. Let's try and come across and finish this expansion. But the wolves, the constant wolf harass, you know? Such a pain, those wolves. So much damage with the crits, with the fast attack speed. Focus spots a peasant. No way that's making it across, buddy. Yep, there we go. Not a chance. Might have to cancel some of this now. Can rebuild one more peasant. Hmm. Okay, coming in. We'll look for the kill maybe on the Farseer. Brings in the Phoenix. For the counter kill on the Archmage. Farseer extremely low, still alive. Phoenix chasing in. A player's forces are on the run. Farseer falls. And with that focus, throws in the tower. <laughs> wow. What a crazy game. Some cheeky moves there from Thunder. You know, the couple cancels he did on Focus's expansion. A big deal, I think. Focus with some really good harass, but man, what a crazy power spike. That fight, first fight with the Phoenix, completely turned things around for Thunder. GG, well played. Anyway, guys, wrap on that. If you, thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.